Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your water reading. Uh, this reading is not in conjunction with a particular time frame. It's just showing you a path to ascension, a possible path, not the path. There are many paths, and it's just a transcendental game. Uh, representing the cards as a flying bird and the body is represented by the here and now and we have innocence coming out as a card for you Virgo and the other cards are representing the wings and these wings are put out by the Los Carabeo deck and they represent your fear your responsibility to that fear, the ability to respond to that fear, is it I, what I want to say with that. The intuition, the intelligent action, the point of relaxation and acceptance and where you find your peace of mind. And, of all, and at the end it is the arrival. So let me just pull out these cards, this is your fear coming out the ability to respond to that fear let me just show the cards straight away the intuition you have, the intelligent action towards that uh, the point of relaxation and acceptance in your midst and of course the outcome or the arrival in where you can send yourself so let me go to innocence which is a major arcana for you in your lift off the point of where you can start from the innocence so that is page 40 you read it out it's a very beautiful chapter in this book I already read it a few times the old man in this card radiates a childlike delight in the world. There is a sense of grace surrounding him, as if he is at home with himself and with what life has brought. He seems to be having a playful communication with the praying mantis on his finger, as if the two of them are the greatest friends. The pink flowers cascading around him represent a time of letting go, relaxation and sweetness. They are a response to his presence, a reflection of his own qualities. The innocence that comes from a deep experience of life is childlike, but not childish. The innocence of children is beautiful, but ignorant. It will re be replaced will, by mistrust and doubt as the child grows and learns that the world can be a dangerous and threatening place. But the innocence of a life li lived fully has a quality of wisdom and acceptance of the ever-changing wonder of life. So the innocent says that if you drop knowledge, and within knowledge everything is included, your name, your identity, everything, because this has been given to you by others. If you drop all that that has been given to you by others, you will have a totally different quality to your being, innocence. That will be a, a crucifixion of the persona, the personality, and there will be a resurrection of your innocence, you will become a child again, reborn. So to continue this reading, you have your liftoff from innocence and within your fear you have security representing the four of pentacles. This is definitely representing a computer screen with password and definitely representing security. So you have a fear about your security, Virgo. So what is uh, the responsibility to that fear? Is about knowing there is a cage around you you cannot see representing the eight of swords and let me have a little quick check up what this eight of swords exactly means in this deck it's a crisis a crisis moment discussion bad news perhaps you will have to review your decision and commitment in order to make your dream come true so the responsibility of you, Virgo, is that you are very good at resolving crises. And the way you do that is with your intuition of perceiving the mind in the right way and using it in the right balance. So with 
the knave of pentacles or the page of pentacles, you are the perfect student within your intuition. You are perfectly into instructing and meditating, intellectual work, you're a suitor with dark eyes and hair. If you want a dream to come true, act cautiously. Within your mind, you are on the right path and the intelligent action is definitely pointing you towards success, representing by the five of wands. So the five of wands with, is uh, about success. Be prepared to face a struggle or make an effort to defend the dream you have just fulfilled. Ambition, expansion and abundance. So what that means, within your intelligent action, you have fulfilled something within yourself, returning to innocence. Knowing your security is something to be concerned about. Within the crises you handle and your good uh, intuition of using the mind in the right way, your mind is at the right place of intuition and representing the point of acceptance in that matter is the number five of chalices. And let me read it out fast. It's about happiness. You are happy if you are in your element and at point of relaxation. Dreams of love become reality. Reconciliation, propitious encounters, a question of love is resolved positively. Joy from sons and daughters. So you are happily within the family and the family matters. And the point of arrival for this ascension is represented by the Two of Wands. And let me get to the Two of Wands because it's a rather dark card, so let me interpret. It's right in this matter, it's about restlessness. In order to obtain what you want, you will have to face radical change or stop hesitating, possible sadness or regrets. So at the arrival, it is a rather dark card about restlessness. But, uh, so it's definitely telling you to find rest within yourself. And that is definitely also within the security you fear for yourself. So restlessness and security is something you will have to keep in mind for your advancement in uh, enlightenment and ascension. So do find the balance uh, within whatever you have fulfilled already for yourself. Don't take it for granted, for sure. Uh, be in your security that you are on the right track within your intuition. You're using your mind the right way. So I guess I will conclude this reading here. Take care and I hope you enjoyed it. Do give it a thumbs up and check you later. Bye.